What is up, everybody? Halcon here for Horizons Daybreaker Season 2, Episode 3. Guess what? We've had a few changes. Yep. So, my other world crashed. I took a break, came back to my world, and it was just broken. Broken, broken. I couldn't fix it. This is the second time this has happened with this mod pack. I keep getting some sort of, like, server state something other whatever one day i'll learn how to fix those things it's not my thing you know what i mean so i have started over on a different world that is actually working and well let me tell you what it looks like what we've got so far we are in a mesa okay seems to be the thing and we have an enchanting table and we have a tea maker and, and we have some bookcases we have a dead end dead end right there and then over here, we started working on um, equivalent exchange, and it's a thing. And this is going to be a room for some cobble generation, which we'll be working on today. Um, we do have a little bit of ore cascade here, okay? That's how we are smelting our ores currently, uh, for efficiency sake. And I got my bed, and an anvil, anvil. And we have an, an outdoor, see, outdoor. It's a little different than my other mesa that I had in the last video. And we have our stairs down. And it goes all the way down to like level 10-ish or something. And we've got some veggies. Veggies! Got some stuff growing here. It's my thing. And we got some stuff growing under there too. And we'll expand that as needed when we add more bushes. I've got some to put in there. We'll do that too. So the plan here is well since i lost my other world the evil guy that was messed with me is gone he won't be participating anymore and just turning daylight that's awesome and we're going to focus on basically the mods we're going to focus on the mods is what we're going to do i'm going to start off with equivalent exchange and i'm going to bust a move in this room i'm going to make some serious cobble generation and then we're going to turn that into something bigger and better and we're going to play a lot, uh, play with the other mods. I, look, I've been playing with chisel. I'm turning my walls into iron. Hear that? Hold on. I can barely hear it. But anyway, it's there. And uh, we're going to try to do some exploration of other dimensions and planets and stuff and fun things and things like that. That's what I've got. That's what you've got. So stay tuned. I'll be RB as soon as I get some stuff set up for today's episode. BRBs. And we're back. And what we're going to do, see if I've got my bucket. I have a bucket. See my bucket? We're going to take this bucket. Let's see, do I have a bucket in here yet? I did not have a bucket in my book of alchemical knowledge. So, real quick basic rundown. I've already done this. Let's just do this. Let's put the bucket in there. Disappear bucket. What? It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a value. Okay, bucket's about to get a value. What does not have a value? The bucket has a value of three iron ingots. And they are 256 each. 256 times three, anybody? Is, that's 18 and 15, that's a 16 and um, it's six, 768. It's a value of 768. So let's see if I can remember how to do this command here. So we're going to add it. E3. Set. Value. Um, set energy value. Set energy value. Enter. Set energy value. Current item. It's not on there, but I know it. Hold on. T. Uh, current. ENT. Item. Post. You need the post. Okay, see how I've got dashes between all those? And then what we decide on? 768. 768. See if it works. Bam. Okay, so now a bucket has a value of 768. Let's see if that's. It's, is that a true statement? Shift, there it is, 768. Now I can take my bucket and I can toss it in here and learn it. And we'll pull one out of here. 
Now I've been doing this with items that I come across that don't have values. Why do I do that? Because that's what I do. Um, we are going to use equivalent exchange in the way that it was meant to be. Oh crap. All right. Now let's put some of this back. Have some buckets. I don't need that many. Here, give me those and you take those and I'll take two buckets. <laughs> and what could I trade that for? Let's trade it for these. All right. Give me all those. Boom. And then we'll put these back in there just so we don't have a, bucket, a bunch of buckets laying around. All right. Does that work? We have two buckets. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to take our buckets and we're going to go find some lava. I need to put lava buckets in there. If we can do that. That name tag down there belongs to a android. So does that one over there. You see it right there? Yeah. I'm going to try to find some lava. So I've gone down this way quite a ways, looked around a lot, and I know there's lava down here because I, well, I know there's lava down here, I just don't remember where I put it. There, let's go through here. That works. And we'll put that back. So we don't get any nasty surprises from behind. We are near lava. That is a correct statement. Where's the lava? There's the lava. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this up here. Take those lava buckets. Boom. Boom. So we can. I got some stone here. I'm going to block this back up to prevent mistakes. And what have we got here? There's lava over there as well. Yeah, I came down here. There's a ton of lava. And I mined some stuff and I kind of worked around the lava. and found lots of diamond down here. That was kind of cool. I'll get that. Come here, you. Oopsies. We're still using an iron pick. I do, I do have, I did make this cool um, uh, magnanimous hammer. And we'll kind of go over that later, maybe. See how we're doing on time. We'll kind of go through all the mod packs that we use. Give everybody a good explanation of how they work and how you can apply it to your Minecraft. That's the, that's the goal here. Alright, let me uh, work my way back up to the top. You know, BRBs. Okay, we're back, and this is what we've done. I have added a value for a lava bucket. And the lava is 64, and the bucket is 768, so together it's 832. I didn't have that in my system. I actually had to go through and do another add to add it. I looked the value up online, what they used to use when they used this mod pack with a ticket. And that's the value that they had. And since my bucket matched that, I figured that was probably a really good indication of what it should be. Now, I have already made transfer nodes. Okay, transfer nodes have a value as well. They have a value of 425 apiece. And that is based on a fire truck going by outside. That is really interesting. Okay, I don't usually get fire trucks going by outside. Um, so I put those also in my table. Let me switch off there. And I have transfer nodes in here, uh, I think. There they are. Whoops, there it is. I also added the transfer pipe, just like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the bucket of lava there. Now I still have a bucket left. However, I don't have any water. So we're going to make this an adventure. I don't know what time of day it is. It is still daylight. We're going to go find water. And we'll try not to die as we do so. So we're walking, we're walking, we're walking. Ah, flag spike. There's water. Okay, there's no water nearby yet. We're gonna have to get down off here now and get some water more. Wall! It's not drawn in fast enough. Probably my recording software is causing it to be slow. Okay, there's no water there. Oh, trucking. Hey, I don't think that's water. That's just not water. Look at the world. The 
it's awesome. You can see down in the world and it's all cool and stuff and things. Alright, we're coming to the cliff. It goes down on the water levels. We won't go down there. That was painful. Now, I've been here before. It's not an easy uh, descent. As a matter of fact, it totally sucks for descent. Outside at night, we're gonna die. And I don't know where the water is yet. Seeing a cactus and looking for water at the same time does not inspire any kind of uh, confidence in my trip. <clears throat> I don't want to be where there are cactuses. When there are cactuses, it means desert. When there's desert, there's no water. So we're going this way. Long time to find a bucket of water. Oh, oh man, lag spike. Lag spike, not cool. <laughs> Almost died because I lagged and there were a bunch of mobs around me. What caused the lag spike? Nobody, nobody died. I don't have any tea, I need to eat some food. That's not gonna heal me anyway, but. So healing's not working, in case you're wondering. And I have to actually drink tea, which is why I have tea being ready. So we have the hearts we have, and that's all we have. And I still have no water. Oh, I see water. Finally. Water. All this for a bucket of friggin' water. Here we go. No real mobs to pick up these spiders. No real spiders. A bit of water. It's probably gonna be frozen, but that's what I can do about There's a creeper. I'm gonna punch the water with uh it's frozen. Punch it with my fist. Wait. Give me water. Wait, do I have water? I do have water. Time to go. Alright. Let's go back to base. Time to go. Way to home. Leap. We're here. That was quick. Alright, do we have water? What is this? Is this a water bucket? We do have a water bucket. Does it have a value? It does not have a value. Alright. I left the door open. I am a jerk. The door's closed. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and determine what the value of a water bucket is. And I'm going to put it in my table. I'll be our bees. Okay, we're back. And what are we working on? We're working on trying to be awesome. So I now have transfer node for items. Now, it's not going to work without a world, uh, what's it called? A world interaction, world, no, not seven, get off there, seven. A world interaction upgrade. To make those, we need iron picks. Lapis and iron ingots. So this also has a value, and I will compute this value. 
and we will determine what it costs to make one of these and then we will pull it out using ee so we have four iron ingots which are 256 so that's 512 and that's 1024 so it starts off at 1024 i'm writing on my tablet next to me and a pick we have to figure out the value of a pick which is it's uh three times 256 which is uh five times five twelve seven five twelve two fifty six five twelve and two fifty six I can't do that in my head right now I'm too tired six and if you've watched any of my other videos you know that I'm not very bad with math I'm okay with it it's five sixty eight we have five sixty eight then we need the cost of a stick and we need the cost of four lapis Cost of four lapis, they're eight sixty-four a piece. Sixty-four times four. That's sixteen twenty-four and one is twenty-five. And thirty-two and two is thirty-four. So that's thirty-four fifty-six. Thirty-four fifty-six. And the cost of a stick. Do we have a cost of a stick? Anybody? What do you mean out of? There you go, there's a stick. It has an energy value of four. So we'll add two fours, because it takes two of them for eight. Now I need a calculator. I've got three larger numbers. So that's 14 and 12 is 26. And that's going to be 11 and 4 is 15. Carry the 1. And that's going to be 9. That's going to be a 0. Carry another 1. 3, 4, 5. So one of those costs five thousand fifty six. I have that written down. Written down. So we do all this math up front, so it'll save us time later. So first things first. Um, that is this. I haven't made one yet. So let's make one. So we're gonna pull from here two three ingots and two normal sticks. And we're going to need, I have some lapis in my hand. I'm going to need more iron. One, two, three, four. All right, let's do this. Yes, my <coughs> crafting station is way over here. I realize this. Here's my iron pick. Center. Three, four. All right. Okay, wrong way. And see how I only put one in each corner? If you right click when you do that instead of left clicking you put down one if you left click click you'll even out your stack so now we have one of these it has a value of 5056 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here type in 5056 BAM and then if I look at it now it says you have a value of 5056 I'm awesome and we're going to go ahead and we're going to see if our book will eat it. Eat it book. Oh, the book's eating it. Yay, look at that. Now, I'm going to take my pick. And I'm going to get a little bit more of this. Because I want to get a few of those. And I need to get a chest or something. Temporarily. I believe I have a chest. I need to drink some tea, too. Do I have a chest in here? Do I have a chest in here? Chest. Well, I do have two these wood things I can grab. Oh, I think chest is actually in here already. It is not in there. It's about to be. As long as it has a value. Give me that. And that. Make this. It does not have a value. But that does. So it's 8 times 8 is 64. So a chest is 64. Is that right? That is correct. So... Now we're going to add a chest to our list, and it is 64, and we're actually going to feed this now to this device. And we will put this inside here to get as much value in here as we can. Chest is gone. We're going to need the chest. And we need the chest to go right there and then we're going to need to go in here and take out 
How many can we get? W O R L D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten interaction upgrades. I, I'm going to put more. That's what we're going to start with. Now, the way this works is each one of these is per tick generates one of whatever you're trying to transfer. So in this case, it should be transferring 10 per tick. And if we look inside the chest, you can see it's filling up in tens. See that? And that's just to start. We're going to create much more of this. Now, don't really have anything to do with this yet. We're going to work on doubling and tripling our cobblestone and making it up to probably quint quintuple or maybe sex tup sex six tuple uh, cobblestone and what's it called cobble here we go quadruple compressed quintuple sex tuple compressed cobblestone is probably where we'll stop we won't go to septuple or octuple and we'll use those to generate our EE later. We'll make them and then pop them in his table to make what we want. And there you have it. Okay, let's see where we are now. Uh, we'll start working on the next step. And when I figure out what that plan is, I'll be our beast. All right, we're back. Okay, so what did I do? Well, I came in here and I created six of these. And I moved around my interaction upgrades. <clears throat> I didn't have... I could have did all of these in one and had like one chest just get full really fast. But what fun is that? And I did use up almost all of my material. I sorted some gold I had and some lapis I had. I got to get some more uh, clay. That's the, that's the value of this clay. It's 256. Actually, it might be 258. I redid it and called it 256. Um, so the idea here is we have these chests full. I've added... Uh, more up, um, more of these nodes to transfer the stone into something else. So right now I'm playing around with the idea of making auto project tables. I think that's what I want. It might just be a project table. The idea here is to send the cobble into it and have it automatically start making um, double compressed or no, not double compressed, compressed cobblestone that'll, that'll increase the value and then go from compressed to the next one up which I think is double compressed or triple compressed let's see let's do compressed compressed so it goes yeah compressed to double compressed to triple and then that's what I think we want to do problem is I can't remember if that's the right table or not so what do we need in order to make this table thing happen give me a couple of these I'm going to need some resources here. Let's just take a couple diamonds. Give us some power. Uh-uh. Now we got some stuff to work with. All right. Go back to table. And this will probably be the last thing that we work on for this episode, is deciding if this table is going to work. Come on. Table. We'll do... What does the project table take? It's a bunch of wood and stone around a crafting table okay and that's a project table or the auto project table so no matter what I have to create project tables to get the auto project table so that's what we'll do I need uh, three stone chest crafting table and four wood all right that's all in here one two three chest and one two three four planks and then a crafting table which we will use wood go over here and do the bangity bang thing hey look an achievement although i've already created this i think it was chest in the bottom let's go to the top There you go, project table. Now, is this the one that works where I can just dump stuff into it? Yes, okay, so we're gonna try that. Do I have an ax? Let me ask you a question. I do not have an ax, but I will create one. Because I have sticks. 
do do we'll go there. Come on. Faster, you jerk face. There we go. And then drop that down. This will be faster. Go back here. Like so. And then you can go like that. And you're getting cobble. And then we will take this and go, wah! And you'll automatically start making compressed cobble. I just need a place to put it. So, with that being said, I'm going to need to do that. So I need another chest. Yeah, no, I don't need another chest. Oh, does that thing have a value? It does not. I should make it have a value. Turn it. Okay, one of those. One, two, three, four of those. Um, four stone, three stone, three stone, and a chest. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's make another one. Oh, look at that! Right outside my door is a rogue. I saw him. I saw his name. There he is. A rogue android. We still have time for them right now in this episode. We'll hunt those later. Got to get their parts. Okay, this, the chest. Deja vu. Alright, value, no value. Okay, this all has value. And I can make it. So this is four of those. So four times eight is 32 to make the crafting table. 64 for a chest. Three for the stone, right? Yep. And then another 32 for the four. So that's going to be 35, or 35 total. That's for the stone and the wood. Let me get my pencil to work here. That means that this table costs a whopping 11, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 131. Whopping 131. And we have a lag spike. Apparently I clicked on the wrong button. Alright. So back to this. And 131. Bam. Project table is now a thing. We'll go in here. We'll drop it in there. It'll cook. And I'll pull out another diamond. I'm going to have to go get some more resources. Okay, I've got 34,000 available. That's done cooking. I need project tables. They're cheap. Two, three, four, five. That's the remainder that I have. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. That's for making the double compressed. And then we need the. Um, they are called nodes. Node. We need six more of these. One, two, three, four, five. Six more of these makes it easy to do stuff in this manner. So this is going to go there and then this is going to go there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to run out of space, but that's right. And that should be connected. And if I go into here, I'm getting cobblestone. How the heck are you getting cobblestone? Oh, stop. Break. Thank you. Can I have this cobblestone back? Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, you can go in there. You can go in there. All right. So I have to go out the top, I believe. Okay. So top it is. I need another uh, space. Give me space, man. Okay, if I got to go up the top, um, before you chop down your whole ceiling, you should check. Okay, I'm gonna check. All right, you ask me. Thank you, appreciate it, man. All right, so get up here, put this here, and we'll do this here. You're getting the you're getting the compressed stuff now. You're not. You totally suck. I said that first. Uh Okay, we're back. And that's what we determined. I had the wrong table. 
So I played around and got auto project tables made. And so cobble comes in, makes compressed cobble. It goes out into here as compressed cobble, stacks up, and it makes double cobble. I need to get it into another box. So we're in the process of upgrading all this stuff. And it's going to take a while. However, we're out of time for today. I hope that you enjoyed our show. And we are going to be working on more exciting things on the next episode. I mean, we have some really cool stuff in store for everybody. We're going to try to do some really crazy power options using the mods we have at our disposal. If you have watched any of my Season 1, dude, we're going to take that and we're going to expand on that. We're going to try to do something over the top because that's what I want to do. I want to be over the top. There you go. And make sure you click the like thingy button and tell your friends. Everybody, thanks for watching. Talk to you all later. Yeah.